a The Boat Show di barche ne proviamo tante. At The Boat Show we try many boats, but we've never done a test like this. We will sail a long time, we will discover some moments of life on board, and we will reveal the particulars of this boat. Let's break its moorings and set sail. This is the Sun Deck 550, the first boat built by the Italian shipyard Sun Deck Yacht. We are emerging from the port of Fano, where the boat was built. This is a very important nautical district. In the golden years of navigation, there have been thousands of boats built here, and the businesses and the workforce are still very specialized. From here, we begin our journey. We head south on the starboard side, the Adriatic coast, and at the stern the waves are at least one metre high. We sail under the most demanding conditions for the engines. We have filled the fuel tanks and water tank. All of the equipment is installed on board, including the tender, and the galley is stopped. There the sky has become very dark, but we checked the weather forecast, which we received directly here, on the console screen. It tells us that we will probably find a bit of rain, but the wind and the sea should not get worse. We reach the promontory of Conero, and as always, when you pass to the other side of one, the conditions change. In this case, worsens, but the boat is very stable and not pitching. We are sailing at 18 knots. When conditions get tough, the qualities of the boat emerge. Look at the siding, at the railing, see how high they are, how you are always safe. The sea is rough, it's raining, but in the cockpit you can have an aperitif. Sun Deck Yachts is a new reality in the nautical sector, founded by Angelo Casartelli, president and director of the company. The company has an objective to produce modern and luxurious motor yachts, based on principles of function and security. Make use of the boat for as long as possible, with maximum comfort, to enjoy the most of your time. This is the theme that inspired the design of a range of shuttles 17 to 25 metres. The project, designed by Zuccari Yacht Design, which has extensive experience with this type of boat, the entire design has been carried out on the computer to get a perfectly precise design of the hull, of the exterior and of the interior. Modelling was performed using a robotic cutter on the basis of the design's calculations. With this method, the model is identical to the drawings, without the least bit of difference, with no imperfection or asymmetry. The construction was completed by specially trained personnel with the use of the best technology, vacuum infusion, which provides maximum strength with minimum weight. They have also used the best materials, such as multi-axial fabrics and vinyl ester resin. The electrical panel looks like that of a mega yacht. Each consumer has its own protection, which is essential for the proper function of all systems. The generator is powerful, 16 kilowatts, as well as the sizable air conditioning plant, 6,000 BTU. There is also a gyroscopic stabilizer and, of course, the two engines. The yard's objective is to set new benchmarks in terms of roominess, functionality and navigation abilities, as well as to offer the owner the opportunity to choose and configure his own boat personalising all of the handmade parts, such as the furniture, the essences, the colours, the electronics, the installations, but also the number and arrangement of the cabins and the layout on the main deck. One of the strengths of the Sun Deck 550 is its volume, which leads it to excel in terms of habitability, inside and out, 
while remaining within the standard approved size. This feature enables, for example, the ability to create a spacious living room while maintaining a very large external walkway. To understand the real dimensions of this yacht, just think that other models of the same length can fit inside her shape. The beauty of a shuttle is that you can sail for a long time and never get tired. We have already travelled 112 miles. Now we are proceeding in displacement. The speed is 7.2 knots and have a consumption of 1 litre per mile, a record value. The water flies at 20 knots, here on the window, a centimetre from my hand. The sun is setting and we continue to sail. It is almost dinner time. We eat this. Now the conditions have become a bit difficult and you have to rely on the navigation tools because the Adriatic Sea is not easy to navigate. There are many fishing farms and several oil platforms. The upright windshield, dark dashboard and all of the adjustable lighting help to navigate in conditions of poor visibility. And when night falls, there's the door to the side or you can just stick your head out. Our sailing day is coming to an end, but the adventure continues. If you think about it, it is really great to be able to sail with a boat like this, which is longer than 17 meters, and when dry, weighs about 20 tons. But right now, fully loaded, we are almost 25 tons, consuming just one litre per mile, at more than seven knots. And if I accelerate a bit to nine knots, we consume less than two litres per mile. After departing from Fano, passing Ancona and Pescara, we are now heading to the Tremiti Islands. There is the autopilot, but be sure to keep watch on the sea. A boat's quality is also identified by another parameter which is not used for other vehicles such as cars and motorcycles. The boats built in Europe are in fact certified in various classes and the Sun Deck 550 is certified in the highest category, A, to navigate even in the toughest of sea conditions. Moreover, Sun Deck Yachts is a product that is 100% made in Italy. Even the engines are Italian. FPT Industrial, the N67 model of 570 horsepower, 6.7 litres, six cylinder common rail turbocharged, are the best of their performance class. Not because I say so, but because of their technical parameters a weight to power ratio of 1.14 kilograms per horsepower, a power to displacement ratio of 85 horsepower a litre and then the volume to power ratio of 1.17 dm cubic meter horsepower. These engines have won several motorboat competitions as well as some special competitions between fishing vessels in America. Yes, the lobster rails. Now, if an engine can be used on a professional boat, such as a fishing vessel, which sails every day and for thousands of hours a year, think how long it will last on a pleasure vessel. The beauty of a shuttle is that in displacement you can sail endlessly while navigating. You can do so many things, especially when it is stable as this. However, with such fine weather comes the desire to get to your destination a little more quickly. Let's give some more gas.
anche se è una navetta. Even though it's a shuttle, it planes and does so at a speed of about 12 knots. Anche in planata si possono scegliere le andature di crociera più in... Even during planing, you can choose the most efficient cruising speed. That is, the one that is ideal to be fast, but also consume little fuel. And I would say that you can start with this pace, 14.5 knots, with the engines just over 2,000 revolutions a minute. L'assetto dello scafo... Non cambia. The hull ascent does not change. The visibility, it is obvious, is good from the fly, but also from the internal control console. You are always able to have a good view of the horizon, so there are no problems with the inclination or the angle of incidence, and there is almost no need to ever use the flaps. Sempre restando nell'ambito dei regimi di crociera del motore, ad esempio spingendosi Always remaining within the scope of the motor cruise regime, for example, pushing up to 2,300 revolutions a minute, the speed is 19 knots and the consumption throughout this range of speeds from 14 to 19 knots is always about 6 litres for each nautical mile. È ovvio, quando si vuole andare veloci, ci vuole un po' di carburante. Obviously, when you want to go fast, it takes just a little more fuel. But how fast? What is the maximum speed of 550 Sundeck? Just give some more gas. Al massimo questi motori At best these FPT industrial engines from 570 horses consume 100 liters an hour. Il regime è di 3000 giri. The engines are turning at 3,000 RPM and the speed is 25 knots. If you are in a hurry, you could get to the destination quickly, even with a shuttle. The owner of this boat should also be a DJ. There is an audio system with 14 speakers, a subwoofer, 3 amps at 24 volts, which is a rarity, and even at full speed. We came to the Trimiti Islands. Here ends the first part of our trip. Non perdetevi la seconda puntata con i dettagli dell'imbarcazione. Don't miss the second episode with the boat details, the 550 Sun Deck and other wonderful places we're going to surf.